Everybody's panicking right now in the cryptocurrency market. Everybody's freaking out, including Shiba Inu coin investors. I'm here to break it down for you in this video, talk about why we shouldn't be panicking as much as we are right now. Because, listen, we got to think macro on this. Everything is plummeting. Yes, we have some issues with the Bitcoin network and Binance and certain things. But listen, this is more of a macroeconomic issue at play right now. They just hiked interest rates again, right? Now we're seeing a delayed reaction from that in the cryptocurrency market. We are seeing a sell-off in top coins across the board. That will include the likes of Shiba Inu. So yes, we are seeing a ton of downward pressure right now in the overall crypto market. But again, SHIB still ranked number 15. What does that tell us? Everything else is falling too. It's not just a Shiba Inu issue. Everything is folding right now, at least a little bit. But this opens the door, guys, for major opportunities. Bitcoin down to 27.9. Ethereum back down below 1,900. We've got you know Cardano down here, 37 cents. If we take a look at some of the big uh, losers right now, Pepe down 25%, dialing all the way back to the 2-1 level, okay? So it's still ranked number 54, but it's coming down pretty hard right now. Floki, same thing. Some of the big losers here. Of course, these things gained so much in such a little time frame. You knew a pullback was to be expected. Now, Pepe's tumbling. Does this mean it's done? No, it simply means people are up like crazy on their investments. And here with SHIB, Look, at, look, look, it's down 5%. I mean, so is Avalanche, right? SHIB and Avalanche are essentially seeing the same kind of price drop here today. I mean, you can find other cryptos that are down even more than that. Filecoin's down more. Aptos is down more. Arbitrum, near protocol, Lido Dow. I mean, you're seeing a ton of altcoins down 5 6% right now. The graph, Algorand, all down. So this is not a Shiba Inu problem, guys. A lot of people are saying, oh my gosh, SHIB's dead, it's time to panic, and, and we're done forever. No, this is opening the door, I think, for people to accumulate. Watch out for the whales. Look out for the whales, because I think they're going to be coming in here. Once this falling knife stops, we get some type of consolidation here. I think we're going to start to see a nice little resurgence in the price of some of these major altcoins, because we're getting to that point now where things are oversold. Now, is there a possibility we could see SHIB go all the way back down to prices that we saw pre-2023, late 2022? Yes, I talked about that in my video yesterday. That is still a real possibility. And again, if you look at it holistically, you look at it long-term, it just opens the door for even a bigger opportunity to buy at premium prices. Let me know what you guys think about all this down below. Appreciate you guys as always. I'm always here for you, bringing you up to speed, giving you my perspective on the cryptocurrency markets. Tough way to start the week, but you know what? Things can flip and change on a dime. We'll be right here bringing it to you. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more content like this. We'll see you in the next video.